I'm Kevin Allred, uh, Mountain Test Rider, snowmobile.com. I'm standing in front of here of the HCR M8. Um, this is the 2012 model. When we had learned that Arctic was coming out with a, a new chassis, they told us that they, they had to share a commonality in parts. Uh, the 2011 M8 was based upon its own chassis, and we'd always say that that was a mountain chassis from the ground up and they no longer felt that they could share two separate chassis. They had to have a commonality of parts there as mentioned earlier. The thing that concerned us there is well where are you going to put the steering? How is it going to work? Well Arctic developed two sets of steering on the same chassis. The one we're going to call a more lay down or horizontal steering as on the trail sleds, but for the mountain sled, they put in a vertical steering post. And what they retain a feature that Arctic Cat has had for several years, the adjustable height steering post, which is a very nice feature. What we're looking at is the bare bones or the skeleton chassis for the new Pro Climb and Pro Cross chassis from Arctic Cat. They share many of the same componentry, geometry, uh, suspension uh, across the, both platforms. That began being the Pro Cross and Pro Climb. Different here from the M series of 2011 are these A arms that have this massive gap between here and these long throw shocks that will be on the Pro Climb M800. This is adapted to the mountain sled from the Snow Pro 600 used in um, the snow cross races such as what Tucker Hibbert uses. New for this year is that you'll notice that the spindles turn and they provide a sharp steering radius. Also these shocks they are not vertical such as on the, the 2011 M8. They're raked forward, and why that's important is that when you're hitting the junk whoops, the moguls, the drifts, is that you're also going to get this type of flotation. And this allows the chassis to stay up front or on top of the snow. All in all, uh, there was just the 1HCR and the 1M8 here. We've all had to share it. We got a chance to get out on it, put it in some real world conditions, and uh, uh, first opinions, good. Um, I think they've done a good job with it.